when is the right time in the Australian financial year for an Australian expat to return from Singapore? Hi there, I'm Jared Brown, Australian expat financial planner here in Singapore, working with Australian expats to make the most of their personal finances. Now, the question that I'm asked time and time again is when is the right time for an Aussie expat to leave Singapore and become an Australian tax resident again? Now, there is no one size fits all. It's not the 1st of July or the 1st of January or some other mysterious date within the year that's the magic time to return to Australia. It's always case by case and a matter of running your own numbers. So to illustrate that point, let's consider a case study. So we have our Australian expat in Singapore, we'll call him Joe. Joe's earning $300,000 here in Singapore. He's considering when to return to Australia. It's currently March, 2024, and he's not quite sure whether he should move now, wait a month or two, or move in the new financial year. So let's run the numbers for Joe to illustrate what difference this could make. So in scenario one, Joe's gonna move back to Australia from Singapore on the 1st of July. So in that instance, Joe would have paid tax of about $40,350 here in Singapore, or about 10,087 for the quarter, 1st of April to the 30th of June. $10,000 in tax payable, that's the bill. Scenario two, Joe is going to leave Singapore and return to Australia on the 1st of April. So Joe's gonna have the 1st of April to the 30th of June of this financial year in Australia, paying tax in Australia. Now Joe's tax bill for that quarter in Australia would be about $16,342. So that would be the tax bill under scenario two. So naturally you would assume, well, just stay in Singapore. That's the obvious answer, Joe. But let's complicate things a little bit further. What if Joe left Singapore on the 1st of June? So Joe's gonna have one month of taxable income in Australia and the rest is going to pay here in Singapore. Now, in that instance, Joe's tax bill in Singapore would be 3362, and Joe's tax bill for that one month in Australia would be $664. So, as we can see for that month of June, Joe is about $2,700 better off being in Australia for that month of June. Probably covers his airfares. Yes, he needs to put up with some colder weather in in Australia, it's the middle of June, but maybe Joe likes the cold weather. So as I said, run your own numbers to work out exactly when the right time is to go back to Australia. And don't ignore things like having to file an additional tax return, or when you claim your deductions, or what the super contributions look like. There's always a myriad of considerations when it comes to planning your return to Australia, but when is the right time comes down to your unique situation.